Sing it with me on this morning, great is he, great is he, who's the king of kings and lord of lords, he is wonderful. Come on and sing it, great is he, who's the king of kings and the lord of lords. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is wonderful. Great is He. Great is He. Who's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is wonderful. Come on, sing it with me. Great is He. Who's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is one. Listen, right at the bottom right side of somebody's stomach, I feel the Holy Ghost is healing you right now. Just lay your hands down and receive your miracle. Claim your healing. The Spirit of the living God, right at the bottom right side of your stomach, the Holy Ghost is healing you right now. Receive your miracle right now in the name of Jesus. I felt the anointing of God release for miracles that quick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor. Honor and power. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is wonderful. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as we are about to go into the Word of God, minister to us. Bring direction in our lives. Where we are wrong, bring correction, God. Every now and again, we need you to straighten us out and bring us on the straight and narrow path. God, we don't want the filth of this world or the wrong attitude to hinder anything that you are doing in our lives. Every last one of us you love, your word says whoever you love, you discipline as a father in the son whom he loves and cares about. So minister to us this morning. Strengthen us. Encourage us. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Somebody say a good amen right there. So on this morning what I'm talking about is God's still answers prayers if you want answers to prayer you need to do these things i want to take you into the word of god in the book of first peter chapter 3 
verses 8 through 12. And I really want you to listen real good. Because sometimes we can hinder our own prayer from being answered. Wrong attitude. Things we allow to come out of our mouth that's not in line with the word. But I want you to hear me. And I'm saying this to you out of love. Because if God loves you, he corrects you. God have to correct me often. <laughs> Sometimes he said, look, you can't, you can't do that. You can't say that. And what do I do as a servant of God? I repent. I have to keep my own self straight before God and in line with his word. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It's not a license to sin. But when the Holy Spirit corrects you, you receive it and say, Lord, I know you only doing this because you love me now watch this first peter chapter 3 verses 8 through 12 finally all of you should be of one mind i'm reading the new living translation sympathize with each other with each other love each other as brothers and sisters be tender-hearted and keep a humble attitude you know the bible says humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God and he will exalt you or lift you up in due season for God loves that person that's humble he gives grace to the humble he resists the proud the haughty person the prideful person but he gives his grace unto the humble listen to what he says in verse 9 don't repay evil for evil. Oh, we all get tempted to pay people back who mess with us. Amen. You know, people think as you're a Christian, they can just treat you like trash. We got feelings. Hello. Come on now. Talk back to me. But you can't do it. Don't give in to that temptation. Because if you give in to that temptation and repay evil for evil, you can forget your prayer being answered. Are you hearing me? Watch this. Don't repay retaliate with insults when people insult you man the holy spirit's talking to someone real strong this morning he is talking to somebody this morning you have been insulted and you've been planning and strategizing how you are going to straighten this person out it's not your job to straighten them out that's god's job it's your job to forgive them it's your job to love them of course you're hurt you got feelings you're a human being come on we're not now glorified bodies yet. When people treat me wrong, I get a little <laughs> stirred up. But you know, you, you, you just can't repay evil for evil. You want to blow them up, but it's not the right way. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't retaliate with insults when people insult you. Instead, pay them back with a blessing. That is what God has called you to do. And he will grant you his blessing. Love your enemies. Bless them who curse you. Do good to them who despise you and use you and say all evil, uh, say all man of evil against you falsely. Jesus say, bless and curse not. Watch this. Verse 10, for the scriptures, for the scriptures say, if you want to enjoy life and see many happy days, keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. We all fall short. But God has shown us the standard. And every time you fall short, be quick to repent and mean it. God, cleanse me, change me, wash me in your blood, deliver me, set me free from this trait, from this sin, from this bad habit. Listen to what he says in verse 11. Turn away from evil and do good. It's a, it's a choice. You have a decision to make. Search for peace and work to maintain it. Now look. I know some people it's real hard to get along with them. Come on, man. Let's face it. It's not easy because every time you do good, they do something to just undo everything you just, and then you got to struggle all over again. But keep doing right. Keep doing good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. That's all you can do. Leave the rest up to God. Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Watch this. I'm going somewhere with this. We're going to get to answered prayer. But you got to see this. Watch this. Because verse 12 says, The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. This is the part that I love. And his ears are 
open unto their prayers. God's listening to you. And this is why the enemy used people to attack you, to try to get us in the flesh. But the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of the world, spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. That boss man is not your real enemy. He is being used by the real enemy, which is the devil. He is only a tool in the hands of Satan. That person in your family that stirs you up and mistreats you. You can't give in to that. That person is not the real enemy. They are only being used by the puppet master called the devil himself. Are you listening to me? That person on your job that's attacking you. Walk in love. Love covers a multitude of sins. Why? Because in doing this, the eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. And his ears are open. To their prayers but the Lord turns his face against those who do evil so he's listening to your prayer that's why you got to walk in forgiveness you have to walk in humility you can't repay evil for evil you can't trade insult for insult you are a child of God to whom much is given much is required of let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven for the for his ears are open under their prayer the eyes of the Lord he's watching over us and when you prayed this morning the Lord was listening to you with great joy he can't wait to answer your prayer Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things you know not listen to Matthew chapter 21 verse 22 and all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer believing you shall receive but you got to do what's right you got to walk according to the word of the living God and every prayer you prayed God is getting ready to answer it he may not do it the way you want it to happen but he will make it work together for your good because you love God and you are called according to his purpose and the Holy Spirit send this word to you as a reminder stay on the straight and narrow path because God is about to answer your prayer that's why all hell is breaking loose against you to stir you up to get you in the flesh the devil knows that he cannot stop your prayer from being answered but you can if you step outside of the word of God and begin to do what God tells you not to do so the Holy Spirit sent me alongside you this morning to encourage you stay on the straight and narrow path walk according to his word walk with integrity walk with humility walk in love because your prayer God have already heard your prayer he's seen your tears and he's getting ready to answer you come on and sing it with me great is he great is he who's the king of kings and the Lord of lords he is wonderful sing it with me church great is he who's the king of kings father i pray over my brothers and sisters right now that have been under attack god i thank you for giving them the victory this morning through this word they have overcome the temptation your word says resist the devil submit yourselves to God resist the devil and he'll flee from you Satan almost got one over on you but it's not going to work because the Holy Spirit have sent his words your way to deliver you to strengthen you and give you the victory great is he great is he who's the king of kings and the Lord of lords he is wonderful hallelujah hallelujah salvation and glory honor and power he is wonderful hallelujah hallelujah salvation and glory 
honor and power he is wonderful give it praise hallelujah hallelujah salvation and glory honor and power he is wonderful hallelujah hallelujah salvation and glory honor and power listen i want to give you a chance on this morning to sow a seed into the kingdom of god to support the work of god to support the preaching of the gospel of the lord jesus christ without compromise that's what you're supporting we love you and we are not ashamed of jesus christ or to preach the truth of the word of god because we know we will have to stand before god one day and i want him to say well done good and faithful servant i want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed right now to support god's work you can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry paypal account that address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries paypal dot me forward slash sean pinder ministries you can also mail your donations into the ministry and remember to make your checks out to sean pinder ministries p.o box 117442 carrollton texas 75011-7442 and we do appreciate you God appreciates what you are doing. He's going to honor you. He's going to bless you for your obedience. This is not magic. You can manipulate God. But when you do it out of love for him and his word, his gospel, and out of obedience, God will honor you. And never forget me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. We love you. We are praying for you. We are believing God with you for your breakthrough, for your miracle, for your turnaround. Sing it honor and glory come on he is wonderful hallelujah sing it church hallelujah sing it salvation and glory honor and power honor and power he is wonderful hallelujah hallelujah salvation and glory honor honor and power he is wonderful. 